Hello and welcome. Today we are going to install Debian 8 on VirtualBox. We are going to create a virtual machine. I'm Christian from Vision 6D. The file I'm going to use is here, is Debian 8.3 for 64-bit PCs and it's in DVD format, meaning ISO. There are several of those files. The number one is enough to do the installation. To get the file, I went on cdimagedebian.org and then I went down to uh, the different locations. And here you can see the file I had downloaded previously. I'm here in front of the virtual box and I'm going to create a new virtual machine. I will call that one Debian 3 and it's Linux, you see Debian 64-bit version. If you need the 32-bit version, you can also change and put a 32-bit version. So I'm going to click Next. Um, I'm going to work with a memory size of 4 gigs and I'm going to create a new virtual hard disk now. I will create a disk in the shape of VDI, it could also be VMDK. I choose that it is dynamically allocated, like that the size on the hard disk itself will be minimal and it will grow as I'm using it. The size I'm going to use for this file system is 25 gigabytes. Now I create. I'm going here to start this virtual machine and I'm going to attach it a CD-ROM first. I will add an optical drive, I will choose a disk. I will select my file, here my ISO file. Open. So we see here that we have the controller and now it has connected to my ISO file. I can say OK to that and now I can start my machine. Normal start. And we decide to go with the graphical install. We have now to, to choose a language. So English is fine for me, could be fine. I'm going to choose another location. Now the keyboard mapping you choose as uh, is your keyboard. So now it's loading the different components. Now I choose the host name, which will be Debian3, the domain name, and now you have to choose a root password. So I will here put a username and I choose a password for the user. So partitioning the disk. Uh, for me, it's uh, better to use the entire disk. This is the, the option I'm going to, to use here. And the full disk can be used. It's a small disk in the end, so all files in one partition. This is absolutely fine for me. And now it can finish the changes and finish the partitioning of the disk. We need to define here that we really want to write the changes to the partition. And now the formatting went on and it's really installing the system. So the installation DVD has been scanned. So we just click continue here. Now we can use and define a mirror to supplement the, the software. This is for updates and packages. This is uh, good to, to define at this point. I have one here which is defined in Switzerland, which is a, a good solution for me. And here I will choose the one which is here, up, which is Debian at the Polytechnical School in uh, Zurich. If you need a proxy server to go out, you have to define it here. For me, it's not my situation. So now it's really upgrading the software. So 
we are going here to select the device for the bootloader. So now it's done, the installation is complete. So you see now it's rebooting with having unmounted the CD ROM. And now the system is up, so let's log in. And here we are up. So this was it for the installation. So if you have any question, you can post me, set me questions on my YouTube channel, some but to like it, and of course you can subscribe to my channel. So see you soon. Bye.